bioregeneration. So do you know anything about magnets and their application for bioregeneration? Um, yeah, in the 1960s, I, I was reading on the subject, and I was so interested in uh, a Russian researcher's work. Uh, Yuri Holodov uh, had demonstrated Yuri. that the gonads and the brain are extremely sensitive to magnetic fields, and since those were the tissues that I was most interested in investigating, I went to Russia to talk to him. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, he said uh, the uh, politicians weren't uh, very encouraging for giving foreigners uh, their latest information, but he gave me a, a, just an amazingly complete bibliography, which wow. uh, when I got back to the U.S., I uh, wow. found a lot of those sources and and uh, so I uh, learned that there was a, a really good foundation for uh, uh, being able to sense magnetic fields uh -huh. and for them to have uh, effects on and the brain and, and the... Uh, uh, gonads in particular. And a scientific reason. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> Absolutely. Madeline Barnacy and her husband, uh, that was one of the books he referred me to. Uh, my what professor. Were the name of the in, authors? Sorry. Uh, uh, Barnacy, B A R N O T H Y. Okay. And um, my American professors had never heard of the field at all. And uh, Salko Tromp, a, a Dutchman, T R O M P. Okay. who invented the, the whole field of medical biometeorology, practically, wow. in the 1930s and 40s. Um, he was uh, aware of, of the biological sensitivity of, of organisms to magnetic fields, and his, his work on the nervous system probably uh, gave the computer people the idea of how to use uh, liquid crystals in display systems and such. Uh, he was like 30, 40 years ahead of, of most technologists. Wow. 